Well, it sure is springtime. All the birds. This is like my, I don't know, third or fourth time trying to record this. So, real quick. Welcome back, guys. IT Garage. Glad to have you. Second of all, today we're going to comment wash this truck. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. 64 Ford F100. Before we start, guys, subscribe. Uh, my last video has, at this point, over 5,000 views. 1% of you, 1, are subscribed. Go ahead, hit the button. It's free. It costs nothing. Unlike Comet Washing, which only costs $3. You have $3, guys. Let's make our Patina vehicles a little bit more presentable. Uh, it's already done here. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but that's all right. That's kind of what Comet Washes do. It takes crappy paint and makes it just a little less crappy. This truck is obviously been repainted it's obviously been an accident based on all the bondo let's see if we can polish a turd here today guys now granted this is a turd that i think a lot of us like to have everyone's style is different but let's see if we can make this patina just a little bit nicer <laughs> maybe one day i'll get good at this Hey guys, welcome back to IT Garage. Today, we're gonna comment wash this truck. It's a 1964 short bed F100 that my buddy picked up. Uh, he's kind enough to let me wash it for this little video. And we're gonna see how this turns out. It is bondoed and painted, doors replaced. You know, this isn't exactly a show quality vehicle, but I think we can make it look a heck of a lot better. So that's what we're going to do today. The first thing we'll do is throw a piece of tape right down the middle. Kind of give us a good before after. We'll do one side of the truck, work all the way around, do the whole thing. And let it dry a little bit in what's left of this afternoon sun. And then we'll peel the tape off, see what it looks like. Now, what's cool about this Comet Wash, you don't really know what it's going to look like. I mean, yeah, you can test in little spots here and there, but this truck's been painted at least once. So who knows how these different paints are going to take to the Comet. Just to kind of show you guys what's going on, we got just Comet and a sponge. Uh, I think both these two things combined cost $3. I will be shocked if we use even half the Comet. So if you're like my friend Kevin and have more than a couple things laying around, a dollar of Comet will get you plenty enough to do more than one vehicle. It's a nice afternoon day uh, here in the spring. So we got neighbors outside pressure washing and kids playing. So if I, the audio is funny, I'm sorry. If it's bad enough, I'll go ahead and voice over. Uh, but go ahead and maybe we'll get a tape line down the middle of this thing and we can go ahead and start, see what comes up. All right, tape line in the middle, mostly. Middle enough is what we'll call that. I might bump it over just a little bit. There. We'll call that good enough. Now, all you're gonna do is just hit it with a little bit of water, hit it with a little bit of Comet, and we'll see what it looks like. Before I start this, this you're not gonna do this to your grandpa's Cutlass that's been sitting in a garage, under a cover, never seen rain. That's not what you Comet wash. You comment wash garbage paint and the truck's cool, but no one's gonna say that this paint is nice. <laughs> it is what it is. Good thing patina's in. So we're gonna go ahead and, and wipe this off and, and see what happens. And my guess is you're gonna see a lot of brown come off from the dirt that's baked into the paint that you're gonna it, you know, literally rub off. But who knows what else might come off. This oxidation, a little bit of this rust. Like I said, you don't really know what's going to happen. Is this factory Ford paint? I'm going to go ahead and say not. You can see that on camera, but this hood's definitely been painted. This whole truck's probably been painted. I don't know what the original color was. I can't read VINs like that. That's not my thing. But here we go. No pressure washer needed on this one. So I'm just going to take it, sprinkle it on there. And make sure you wear... Uh, clothes that you don't mind getting a little rough this comet does have bleach in it so i don't know what that would do to the your clothes but i guess i can let you know in the comments because i'm wearing a black shirt so <laughs> I 
Maybe one day I'll get good at this. I don't know if you can see, but there is already a difference. I know it's wet, but we'll come back to it. First, let's get some shots of the truck just so you can see what we're, wor what we're starting with. And I know there's shadows and everything, but all that oxidation, this truck really has some cool patina to it. It's really a shame that that other door doesn't match and neither does the tailgate but tailgates or whatever. Honestly, I'd throw on the rusty one. I think that'd look cooler, but to each their own. There's my inconspicuous test spot. So there's a little sneak peek at kind of the before and after. Uh, so it's really gonna darken the paint on some of it anyways. I'm bringing you guys over here so you can see right here, hopefully what happened over here. I don't know if you remember from the walk around, but those rust stains used to drip all the way down the bedside and now they're gone. So let's get you a little bit closer in here. We're gonna go ahead and wash that spot right there. Now, again, every car is different. Everybody's style is different. Somebody might like that big yellow spot. I'm just gonna remove it so you guys can see what this stuff can do. And this is just, again, this is just co a comet and a sponge. You could get a steel Brillo pad or steel wool and even cut deeper. They didn't have any at the Dollar General. So uh, <laughs> this is what we're using today. Now it's nice and wet. The sponge is nice and wet. So you don't need to wet it down any more than it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and start, start wiping. And careful, where there's spots like this up here, where the Bondo's popping real bad, you know, careful. Don't, <laughs> Bondo does have paint on it, unless you want it to be totally exposed raw metal, you know, go easy there. Get all the nooks and crannies. Moment of truth here. Look at that can't make up those results guys look at that that's crazy i'm all for a couple rust runs and drips and stuff like that but there's no way you're telling me that that doesn't look better than what was there and just to really drive it home we're gonna do down here too all those rust runs Make sure to drop your sponge a hundred times. Look at that. That looks so much better. I've got about three quarters of the truck done and it was just a quick job. Uh, you know, it could probably get gone over a second time, but look at these results up here, guys. They just speak for themselves. Look at that, lying down the hood. You know, that's still wet over there and there's a little bit of a wet spot right here. But I mean, come on. <laughs> You're gonna tell me that that isn't better on the right than the left? It's night and day. Is this show paint? No. Could it get gone over a second time? Yes. But it just looks so much better than that. It just deepens the color, makes it uniform. All these little marks and stuff, you know, that's Comet right there. But all these marks like this throughout the whole truck are gone. You got to see over here how it just took away that rust stain. You can see where I didn't get all of it. Is this something that's going to change the look of your vehicle? No. It just gives it a uniform kind of matte finish. And then from here, you can really go a little bit deeper. Are you going to try to rub some of these stains out like this are you gonna really try to get those out with a brillo pad are you gonna sit there and polish the chrome are you gonna polish the wheels how deep are you gonna go and then once you get to that level what you can then do go get some sort of top coat uh, like i said before whether it's vice grips new material or whether it's poppy's patina or 
whatever. Make your own with linseed oil, boiled linseed oil. It doesn't matter. Just do something, make it look better, right? That's how we're doing here. I think this result up here, it's hard to tell when you look at it, the truck over here, but when you look at the before and after, I mean, look at that hard line. <laughs> And I did get it pretty straight after all. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up for Kevin. Uh, get you guys some nice after shots. Thanks for hanging out until the end, guys. Uh, got some pictures. Uh, I think this looks great. Just, I'm a big fan of patina cars. You know, shiny paint, it's cool, but I don't know. Something about a beat-up old pickup truck just is, is too fun. I think the truck looks great. Doesn't need another Comet wash? Absolutely. It's not perfect. You can see some lines here and there, and you know, some of that haziness is still there, but if you remember what we came from, this is a huge improvement. We'll stay on the good side for the ending. Uh, thanks again, appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Only 1% of the viewers on the Edsel video are subscribed. So unless you're one of those 1%, please, Hit that button. See what other fun things you got going on. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good night. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. It's $3. You have $3. Go do it. All right. Thanks. Thanks.